Gillian Anderson American Actress and Writer Gillian Lee Anderson OBE is an American actress, writer, and activist. She is best known for her roles as FBI Special Agent Dana Scully in the sci-fi series The X-Files, Lily Bart in the drama film. Born, August 9, 1968, age 56 years, Chicago, Illinois. Spouse, Julian Ozan, M. 2004-2007, Clyde Klotz, M. 1994-1997. Children, Piper Maru Klotz, Oscar, Griffiths. Height, 5 foot 3. Parents, Rosemary Anderson, Edward Anderson. Siblings, Zoe Anderson, Aaron Anderson. Jillian Anderson was born in Chicago, Illinois, to Rosemary Alice, Lane, a computer analyst, and Homer Edward Anderson III, who owned a film post-production company. Jillian started her career as a member of an amateur actor group while at high school. In 1987, her love of the theater took her to the National Theater of Great Britain summer acting program held at Cornell University in Ithaca, New York. For several weeks she studied under such NT greats as Peter Chelsom, Barty Thomas, and Michael Joyce. Afterwards, Anderson returned to the Goodman Theater School at DePaul University in Chicago, Illinois where she finished her education. Her big break came with The X-Files, 1993, as Dana Scully. There, she met her future husband, Clyde Klotz, marrying on January 1, 1994. One month later, Jillian was pregnant. Her daughter, Piper Anderson Klotz, was born on the, the 25th of September 1994. Her film career started with the movie The Turning, 1992, in 1997 and, the following year, she starred in Playing by Heart, 1998, with Sean Connery, Ellen Burstyn, Angelina Jolie and Dennis Quaid. Family Spouses Julian Ozan, December, the 29th, 2004, July, the 24th, 2007, divorced Clyde Klotz, January 1, 1994, February 1, 1997, divorced, one child, children, Piper Anderson Klotz, Oscar Griffiths, Felix Griffiths, parents, Rosemary Alice Anderson, Lane, Homer Edward Anderson III, relatives, Aaron Anderson, sibling, Zoe Anderson, sibling, trivia, she was voted, class clown, most bizarre girl, and, most likely to be arrested, by her classmates in high school, in fact, she was arrested on graduation night for trying to glue the locks shut at her high school, told the X-Files, 1993, executives that she was aged 27 so that she would appear more credible as an FBI agent with a medical degree. Standing at just 5, 3, she has to stand on an apple box to shoot many scenes, in the X-Files, 1993, she and her parents left the USA and moved to London, UK, and later Northern Ireland from age 2 to age 11. After that, they moved from the UK to Michigan, USA. She also lived in Puerto Rico for a while. In 2002, she relocated to London, where works and lives to this day. She is bidiolectal. While she was living in London as a child, she had taken on a British accent to make friends. After moving back to the USA, she adopted an American accent because she was teased by her classmates for speaking with a British accent once received an offer to appear on the cover and pose nude for Playboy. According to an interview in FHM magazine, she was offered an impressive amount of money to take off her clothes, but Jillian refused it. I turned it down, but it was very flattering, she said, is the youngest actress, at age 29, 1997, to win a Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actress in a drama series since Lindsay Wagner won at age 28. 1977 is the first actress to receive an Emmy Award, a Golden Globe Award, and a Screen Actors Guild (SAG) award in the same year. Her daughter, Piper Mru, was the inspiration for the title of *In the X Files* (1993) episode introducing the famous Black Oil in the series. *The X Files* (1993) writer Chris Carter is the godfather of her daughter, Piper Mru. Returned to work on the X Files, 1993, ten days after she gave birth to Piper Maru. Spent her first paycheck from the X Files, 1993, on art. Was married to first husband Clyde Klotz on the 17th hole of a golf course in Hawaii by a Buddhist priest. Hair is naturally blonde, 
it was dyed and styled into the famous Bob by Malcolm Marston, who was immortalized as the British Member of Parliament, MP, in the episode, Fire. She has played the same character, Dana Scully, on three different series, The X-Files, 1993, Eek, The Cat, 1992, and The Simpsons, 1989. She was awarded an honorary OBE, Honorary Officer of the Most Excellent Order of the British Empire, in the 2016 Queen's Birthday Honours list for her services to drama. Gave birth to her third child at age 40, a son Felix Griffiths on October 15, 2008. Child's father is her ex-boyfriend, Mark Griffiths. Kept her daughter, Piper Maru, completely hidden from the public until they both appeared in Joan Austen's book, Celebrity Moms, and the April 2001 issue of In Style magazine. As a teen, her favorite music bands included Skinny Puppy and Dead Kennedys. Says her favorite film is Wallace and Gromit, The Wrong Trousers, 1993. Voted the Sexiest Woman in the World by FHM Magazine's 100 Sexiest Women poll. Is also a writer. Gave birth to her first child at age 26, a daughter Piper Mru Klotz, Aka Piper Anderson, on September 25, 1994. Child's father is her first husband. Clyde Klotz was the first woman to host Masterpiece, which began in 1971. Daughter of Homer Edward Ed Anderson III, who owned a film post-production company, and wife Rosemary Posey Alice Lane, a computer analyst. She has a younger brother, Aaron Anderson, who suffers from neurofibromatosis for which she has done activist work to encourage government to increase funding for research, and a younger sister, Zoe Anderson. She was awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for television at 6508 Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood, California, on January 8, 2018, is an avid art collector. Her collection includes work from such artists as Diane Arbus, Francesco Clemente and Kiki Smith. On December 29, 2004, she married her long-term boyfriend Julian Ozan on the resort town of Shella, on Lamu Island, Kenya. She has English, German and Irish ancestry. Gave birth to her second child at age 38, the son Oscar Griffiths on November 1, 2006. Child's father is her ex-boyfriend, Mark Griffiths, gained her first real break when she replaced Mary Louise Parker in the play, The Philanthropist, attended the Goodman Theater School of Drama at DePaul University in Chicago, Illinois, where she earned her degree in fine arts. One of her classmates was Nina Simishko, named her two sons Oscar and Felix. Oscar and Felix are also the first names of the comically mismatched roommates in the Neil Simon play, the Odd Couple, chosen by People magazine as one of the 50 most beautiful people in the world, attended and graduated from City High School, Grand Rapids, Kent County, Michigan, engaged to photojournalist Julian Ozan. Wedding was planned for September 2003 during a safari ceremony in Kenya, but was delayed for over a year for fears of a terrorist attack. Of the five actresses nominated for an Emmy Award, as Outstanding Lead Actress in a Miniseries or Movie, 2006, she was the only one who has not been nominated for an Academy Award, was in a relationship with businessman Mark Griffiths from 2006 to 2012, is a supporter of Planned Parenthood, received the WatsonStage.com Theatergoer's Choice Best Actress Award for her West End debut in Michael Weller's To Hand Her, What the Night Is For, graduated from the theater school at DePaul University in Chicago, ranked pound two in Top Socialites, the 20 Hottest Women of the Ninetis, ranked pound 21 in FHM Magazine's All-Time 100 Sexiest Hall of Fame, presented the Best Designer Award at the 51st Evening Standard Theater Awards, friends with New Orleans, Orleans Parish, Louisiana, musician, inventor Quintron, chosen by Australian men magazine Zoo Weekly as one of the top 50 hottest babes ever, ranked pound 6 in Askman.com's Top 7, 90s sex symbols, ranked pound 23 on Wizard Magazine's Sexiest Women of TV list, was in a relationship with screenwriter and playwright Peter Morgan from 2016 to 2020, maternal granddaughter of Leslie Clute Lane Jr., B. Goldsboro, Wayne County, North Carolina, son of Leslie Clute Lane Sr., and wife Alice or Alice Virginia Nealon, paternal grandson of William Isaac Lane, and wife Mary Emma Clute, and maternal grandson of James Paul Thomas Nealon, B. Ireland, Great Britain and Ireland, and wife Catherine Schofield, B. Ireland, Great Britain and Ireland, and wife Louise Theresa Bachuber, B. Wisconsin, of German descent, daughter of Philip George Bachuber Sr., and wife Rosa Johanna Bauer, 
paternal granddaughter of Andreas Andrew Bachuber, and wife Louisa Lizzie Stair, and maternal granddaughter of Joseph Bauer, and wife Elizabeth Mary Hinks, paternal granddaughter of Homer Edward Anderson Jr., son of Homer Edward Anderson, and wife Frances Margaret Ryan, paternal grandson of John William Anderson, and wife Adeline Addie Mae Jones, and maternal grandson of John B. Ryan and wife Elizabeth James Sutherland, and wife Marilyn Ramsey Richardson, daughter of Henry Hall Richardson, and wife Frances Bradshaw Newman, paternal granddaughter of Henry Watkins Richardson, and wife Charlotte Lottie George Hall, and maternal granddaughter of Albert Newman, and wife Frances Fania Bradshaw, born at 6 a.m., CDT, quotes, on her role as Special Agent Dana Scully on the X-Files, 1993, I am more spontaneous than my character, interview in Movie Line magazine, December 1998, fame is complicated and definitely overrated, there are perks to it, that are unfathomable, but the other aspect is there's little to no privacy at all, being anywhere at any time, and knowing that somebody you cannot see is probably taking a picture of you, which has happened hundreds of times, I look around and cannot see anyone, and a couple of weeks later I, see a photo of me looking around, when I think of normal, I think of mediocrity and mediocrity scares the fuck out of me, it's easier to be myself here, I can go out wearing whatever the hell I want, no matter how ridiculous it looks, if I do that in America, people look at me like I'm insane, there are aspects of the British press, which are incredibly intrusive, but then you will go to a premiere, and someone will ask permission to take a photo, and when you say, that's enough, they will back off, in the States, you go to a restaurant and there are people lined up outside with 8x10s of you, or they just follow you with a video camera, I had someone deliberately rear-end my car a few years ago in Ella, and there was a video camera, they were videoing my reaction, luckily, I was in a good mood, I know people who are embarrassed to be American, they don't like showing their passports, it's becoming a scary place, it takes someone very brave not to be quiet, someone, who doesn't mind death threats, their life being turned upside down, news cameras outside their door, there is no freedom of speech in America anymore. They are not living up to the Constitution. There's so much fear in America and control. My tendency is towards the opposite of health and taking care of myself. My natural tendency is destructive. In order not to act on that, I have to be careful. The minute I don't feel like that, if I let down my guard, I'm in trouble. I often showed up ungroomed. It didn't occur to me. Then I'd end up at a premiere and I'd think, what are you doing? I remember being at a restaurant with a famous British actress. I knew there were paparazzi outside. My intention was to make a beeline for the car. But then, as we were walking outside, she applied lipstick. I thought, what is she doing? But her public image is very glamorous. It's a different mindset. I don't show my face, in Ella, very much, and so that makes it a bit more complicated for me, in terms of work. They, producers, need to see you in the press, and in their face, in meetings, auditions, whatever. And as far as they're concerned, I haven't provided enough of an example of the kind of things that I can do, as an actor, for them to justify hiring me without me sitting down in front of them or having me dance around. I don't usually like seeing things I'm in. I get really depressed afterward. I walked in thinking, it's going to be like riding a bicycle. It wasn't. It was like riding a unicycle. I'd been trying so hard to stretch myself in other roles, and to catch myself when I did anything that remotely resembles Scully, that when I was put back in the ring with her my brain started misfiring. The New York Times, July, the 13th, 2008, on how unexpectedly hard it was for her to get back in character as Scully for the movie The X-Files. I want to believe, 2008, five years after the end of the television series, there are a lot of things I would have done differently, but Scully wouldn't have been one of them. On the fall, 2013, Tennyson, Prime Suspect, 1991, certainly inspired my performance, in that she certainly had an ego and quite evident character flaws. It had been a long time since I'd read a script as good as this, and I was really impressed by how Alan, Alan Cubitt, gets into the psychology of his characters. I never know from one day to the next whether I'm feeling outspoken, or not, which wouldn't make me the most reliable spokeswoman for anything. I don't understand technology. I don't even tweet. I have someone in the US, who does that for me, nothing personal, just work stuff. To me a relationship is about loving another human being, their gender is irrelevant. I'm leaning towards the idea that it's time for somebody to be brave enough to ask me out. I've asked out guys in the past. I remember being in the cinema in the States, and I made eye contact with the man going in. I noticed we laughed at same points, and seemed to respond in the same way to the same moments. We were both with friends. I stopped and thought, 
fuck this, what am I doing? So I rushed back down the street, went up to him, and said, would you like a coffee sometime? We dated for six months. I'm very headstrong in terms of how I want things to go, so I've made an effort to become more patient and compassionate. I don't have a tendency to share. Even my own assistant doesn't know what is scheduled for my week or my day. I generally have a tendency to steer away from outright political discussion in interviews, because I am an actor, and there's so much that I don't understand, and I don't for a second feel like I have a right to that platform. I don't want to get into a discussion about Trump or about Brexit or any of that. I feel it's best left to people who really understand the very, very complex issues. Not for a second am I going to pitch in, because I don't really know what it is that I'm talking about. I have opinions, but I don't think my opinions are more valid because I'm an actor and have more of a platform than others. Salaries. Bleak House, 2006, 500,000 pounds. Playing by heart, 1,999. $60,000. The X Files, $1,998 for a million dollars.